Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about the chapter discount. This chapter we have to study based on the shopkeeper's point of view. Now some terms are there like CP will mean our what? Cost price. Then SP will mean our selling price. And MP will mean mark price. Now what does this term means? I'll explain you. Suppose I am a shopkeeper and I purchase an article. I went to Delhi, the wholesaler, and I purchase an article for rupees 1000. So whatever price I have purchased, that will be our what? Cost price. Now if I sell it for only if I, I purchase it for 1000, if I sell it for also 1000, there is no profit. So what I did, I put a sticker on it and I made the sticker of both rupees 4000. This 4000, whichever sticker I have put it, that is our known as mark price. It is also our what? The MRP. Then I will sell it. But if I sell for 4000, it is overpriced. So I am giving some discount. And I am selling it. While selling, I am giving discount of 25% discount. I am giving it. I am giving 25% discount. Then I will sell the article. Now see, some terms are there. Now 25% discount means what? Am I giving 25% discount on 1000 or I am giving discount on 4000? Answer is discount is always given on the mark price, not on the cost price. And then I will sell it. 25% of 4000 will be 1000 rupees. Then at what price I am selling? See 25% of 4000 rupees will be our what? 25% means 1 by 4 into 4000 which is our 1000 rupees discount I am giving. So at what price I am selling then? I am selling at rupees 3000. So during this I have made some profit. How much profit I have made? Profit and loss is from cost price to selling price. So in this case I have made a profit of how much? Selling price minus profit equal to our selling price minus cost price. That is our 3000 minus 1000 which will be our 2000 rupees profit. I hope you have understood the term. Cost price is what? The price at which the shopkeeper will purchase the article. Then he'll put some sticker. The sticker uh, that is called as our what? MRP or the mark price. And then he will offer some discount. Then remember, discount is always given on where? On the mark price, not on the cost price. Okay. And then he will sell the article. 25% discount means what? 1000 rupees discount. So MRP was 4000. 1000 rupees discount means how much? He will sell the article for rupees 3000. Now, during this, he have made some profit. How much profit? He purchased it for 1000 and he is selling for rupees 3000. So, profit equal to 2000. Now, let me explain the formulas over here. Okay, see the formulas over here. What are the formulas used? First of all, what were things we have? Cost price, then we'll write mark price. And then we'll write selling price. First of all, our there is a term known as discount. Discount is from where to where? From mark price to selling price. Larger minus smaller. If I ask you the question, which is larger, mark price or selling price? Definitely the sticker he will put will more. So which will be our what? Mark price minus selling price. Then from cost price to mark price. There is a term involved called as markup price. Markup price. If I ask you what is the markup price? Markup price is from where to where? Cost price to mark price. And larger minus smaller. So which will be larger? Definitely mark price is larger. So this will be our word mark price minus cost price. And there is another term known as percentage discount. Percentage discount is equal to our discount discount is always calculated on mark price mark price into 100 this percentage discount has another name this is also called as rate of discount rate of discount next you see discount means our what mark price minus selling price divided by mark price into our 100 this also can be written as 1 minus selling price by mark price into our 100 whatever answer will come you put a percentage over there suppose i get something whatever result will come just put a percentage 
okay i am not putting it but whatever answer will come we have to put a percentage over there i hope you have understood the formula so discount is our mark price minus selling price this is our first formula markup price is our what larger minus smaller mark price minus cost price percentage discount is our discount by mark price into 100 another one thing whenever question on discount is given you can write in this format cost price mark price and then selling price if they ask you about profit and loss profit and loss is from cost price to selling price mark price to our selling price is our this part is for discount cost price to mark price is for markup price this part is for markup price and cost price to selling price is from for profit and loss this will be for our our cost price to selling price okay see the first question now what is given the mark price of a ceiling fan is 1250 okay mark price is given 1250 and the shopkeepers allows a discount of 6% on it find the selling price selling price is unknown and in the chapter percentage i have told you that discount is a negative term so here we write minus 6% many ways we can solve it this question so discount equal to our how much first of all discount equal to 6% 6% of what 6% of 1250 so 10% will be our 12.5 so 72 plus 3 will be our 75 rupees discount will get it I hope you have understood how I got 75 this is our 6 by 100 of means 1250 0, 0 cancel out this will be our 750 plus divided by 10 750 by 10 will be our what 75 rupees so that 75 rupees I am writing they are asking what is the selling price of the fan now discount means our what mark price minus selling price and that is equal to our what that is our discount mark price is given as 1250 selling price we do not know discount is 75 rupees so from here i will get the 75 our selling price will be 1250 minus 75 so minus 50 will be our 1200 so we'll get double one 75 rupees this will be the answer i hope you have understood the problem one thing i forgot to write it here that discount is always discount is always calculated on mark price on mark price remember this point okay see the next question now what is said a trader purchases a washing machine for rupees 7660 he allows a discount of 12% on it and still gains 10% find the mark price of the washing machine okay we do not know what is the mark price so i'm writing cost price mark price then selling price purchase a washing machine for rupees 7660 so cost price is 7660 he allows a discount of 12% on it discount is from where to where mark price to selling price 12 percent discount still gains 10 percent profit loss is from where cost price to selling price profit is our positive term discount is negative term so you know 10 percent 10 percent means what multiplication factor will find out with 100 percent we have to add it so 100 percent plus 10 percent which will give us 110 percent means our what 11 by 10 regarding multiplication factor i hope all of you have understood i have already explained in the chapter percentage selling price is unknown from this i can easily find out the selling price so selling price will be our what cost price multiply with the multiplication factor that is our 7660 multiplication factor is our 11 by 10 so 766 into 11 667 then 667 612 713 114 we are getting 8426 rupees so selling price of the article we find it out it is our what 8426 rupees now mark price is unknown our target is to find the mark price so now we can easily find out the multiplication factor here multiplication factor will be our how much 100 percent minus 12 percent which is our 88 percent so those who do not know about multiplication factor i will request you to see my percentage chapter there i have explained already um, about uh, multiplication factor 
88 percent means what 88 by 100 divisible by 4 22 by 25 we are getting now we have to go in the backward direction to find out the mark price when it became mixed up but i hope you are getting the point so what i am saying doing so we have to go in the backward direction to find out the mark price so mark price will be our what mark price because we are going backward direction we have to divide by multiplication factor equal to our selling price divided by multiplication factor that is our 8426 divided by 22 by 25 so simplify this what will get 8426 divided by 22 into our 25 divisible by 2 first of all 4213 will get 11 so it is divisible by 11 also 11 3 is a 33 9 1 11 is a 88 3 3 11 3 is a 33 so what we are getting 383 into 25 multiply it 383 into 25 5 3 is a 15, 8 5 is a 41, 5 3 is 15, 1 9, then 766 will get it. 5 7 9 6 15, 9 5 7 5 we are getting. So the mark price is our how much? 9 5 7 5 rupees. I hope you have understood the problem. You can note it down. Next concept is about successive discount. Now, what do you mean by successive discount? You see. There is a formula also for successive discount. We will study about that. But let me explain you about success, the concept of successive discount. Suppose uh, I was the shopkeeper and I purchased the article. I went to Delhi and I purchased an article for rupees 1000. Then what I did, then I put a sticker worth rupees 4000 rupees. The sticker is known as MRP, which I am saying it is mark price. Then because it is overpriced, I offer discount. I offered a discount of 10%. 10% discount means how much? 10% of 4,000 4, rupees, not 1,000. 10% of 4,000 is our what? Is our 400 rupees discount I am giving. So at what price is the article available now? The article is available for 400 will go. So it will be available for 3,600 rupees. Now still then again I am saying to the customer that if you pay by card, I'll pay, I will give you extra 10% discount. So I'm again, again giving extra 10% discount. Now this 10% on where? On 3600 rupees. So 10% of 3600 will be 360 rupees. Again 10% of what? 3600 will be our 360 rupees discount. So at what price? At what price I'm offering now? I'm offering the article for 3600 minus 360 rupees. That is our what? 3240 rupees so this is the new selling price i hope you are getting now question is what is successive discount this 10 percent this 10 percent this type of discount are said to be successive discount now question is how much net discount i get is it 20 percent 10 and 10 should be 20 right but it is not 20 so how much is the discount i have given that type of this type of discounts are said to be successive discount here I have offered two discount. It may be three also. So such question, how do you solve it? You see, here net discount formula is our net discount formula is our x plus y plus x y by hundred. Whatever answer will come, you just put a percentage. Okay. What does it mean? Let me explain you. In the earlier problem, here x equal to but you have to put x and y with signs what did i say put x and y with signs what does it mean means here x equal to our what 10 percent discount so i am writing minus 10 percentage will put at the end y equal to our what y is also minus 10 because it is discount therefore net discount will be equal to therefore net discount will be our what we know the formula x plus y plus x y by 100 and finally whatever answer we will get we will put percentage so it will be our minus 10 plus minus 10 plus minus 10 into minus 10 by 100 0 0 0 0 cancel out so how much we are getting minus 20 plus 1 that is equal to what minus 19 
means 19 and then we'll write minus 19 percent so net discount equal to how much 19 percent discount i hope you have understood the problem therefore we'll say that net discount equal to our when we say we'll say that we are offering a discount of 19 percent i hope you have understood the problem here so this is the concept of successive discount suppose 3 3 discount is given then what we'll do suppose the shopkeeper offers a discount of 10 percent again 10 percent again 5 percent again 5 percent discount in such cases this is our x this is our y we'll solve this too when you solve this too we are getting how much 19 percent and then we'll solve it 19 percent and 5 percent now this is my x this is my y whatever answer will come that is our net discount i hope you have understood the problem what did i say sometime 3 3 discount also may be given in such cases we'll solve the first two just now we have solved that 10 percent and 10 percent discount gives our how much our 19 percent net discount is 19 percent now 19 percent then we'll solve for 19 percent and the last one whatever is given that will bring it down 19 percent and 5 percent will solve it now 19 and 5 percent whatever answer will come that is our final answer i hope it is clear okay see the next question now find a single equivalent discount of two successive discount of 20 percent and 10 percent so here x is equal to what minus 20 y equal to what minus 10 at the end we'll put percentage okay therefore net discount equal to what net discount formula is our x plus y plus xy upon 100 and finally we'll put the percentage sign later minus 10 plus minus 20 minus 10 plus minus 20 into minus 10 upon 100 this cancel out so what we are getting minus 30 and this will give us plus 2 that is our minus 28 and finally we'll write percentage so net discount is our how much therefore net discount equal to 28 percent net discount equal to 28 percent i hope you have understood the problem we see the next question now what is say find the single equivalent discount of 20 percent 10 percent and 5 percent so as i told you what we'll do we'll solve the first two whatever result will come then we'll solve the other so first of all net discount of net discount of 20 percent and 10 percent equal to 20 percent and 10 percent is just now we have solved 28 percent we got it we'll use the formula xy plus xy by 100 here x equal to because it is discount we'll write minus y equal to what minus 10 so what we'll get minus 20 plus minus 10 plus minus 20 into minus 10 upon 100 0 0 cancel cancel so minus 20 and minus 10 will give us minus 30 minus and minus will become plus plus 2 which is our minus 28 percent i hope you're getting now equivalent discount of equivalent discount of 28 percent and 5 percent is what now x equal to what minus 28 y equal to what minus 5 simplify this which is equal to our what we have the formula x y plus x y by 100 minus 28 plus minus 5 plus minus 28 into minus 5 by 100 this will be minus 33 plus this will be our 140 by 100 so which is equal to minus 33 plus 1.40 which will give us minus 31.60 we are getting minus 31.60 therefore equivalent discount of equivalent discount of finally you can put percentage over here discount of 20 percent 10 percent and 5 percent is our word 31.6 percent i hope you have understood the problem you can note it down see the next question now 
what he said the price of a sweater was less from rupees 960 to rupees 816 by a shopkeeper in the winter season find the rate of discount as i told you the rate of discount means percentage discount they are asking so here mark price was our how much 960 slash to our selling price is our 816 they are asking what is the rate of discount so before that we have to find out discount discount equal to mark price minus selling price 960 minus 816 it will be 44 144 rupees will get it they are asking rate of discount therefore the rate of discount equal to rate of discount means same as percentage discount that is our discount upon mark price into 100 discount is 144 rupees mark price is 960 rupees into 100 so 0 0 cancel out 16 9 is 144 16 6 are 96 so we are getting 90 by 6 means 15 whatever answer will come finally put a percentage so net discount equal to 15 percent i hope you have understood the problem see the next question now find the rate of discount been given on a shirt whose selling price is 1092 after deducting a discount of 208 on his mark price okay they are asking rate of discount you know that rate of discount equal to what rate of discount equal to discount upon mark price into our 100 now what is given here we are given that discount equals to our 208 selling price is also given 1092 as we know as discount equal to mark price minus selling price our target is to find mark price so 208 equal to mark price minus 1092 so mark price will be our how much 208 plus 1092 which will be 1100 plus 200 1300 rupees we are getting therefore percentage discount equal to or rate of discount equal to that again i am putting the values which is our discount what is the formula discount by mark price into 100 discount is our 208 rupees this is 1300 rupees into 100 0 0 cancel out 13 1 is a 13 7 8 13 6 is a 78 16 we are getting but when you well, the answer will write it 16 percent i hope you have understood the problem we see the next question now what is said a t set was bought for rupees 528 after getting a discount of 12 percent on its mark price find the mark price of the t set i told you this chapter we have to see from the shopkeeper's point of view a t set was bought after getting a discount of 12 percent on its mark price so i have purchased that means what the shopkeeper has sold it for what sold it for 528 so this is our what the selling price selling price is our 528 so then we'll have our what mark price discount as our how much 12 percent so multiplication factor will find out multiplication factor will be our 100 and discount is minus 10 multiplication factor will be our 88 percent which is our 88 by 100 how 88 percent 100 percent minus 12 percent 422 upon 25 mark price is unknown so we have to go in the backward direction therefore mark price will be our what selling price divided by multiplication factor that is our 528 divided by 22 upon 25 this will give us 528 divided by 22 into 25 divisible by 2 2 226 the 52 264 by 11 what we'll get 528 divided by 22 into 25 direct 22 also we can divide 22 to the 44 8 8 so we're getting 24 into 25 so 500 plus 100 will be 600 rupees will be the mark price i hope you have understood the problem it's a difficult one you may think that 
a tea set was bought bought means were cost price but i told you this chapter we have to see from the shopkeeper's point of view so the i have bought it that means the shopkeeper have sold it for what 528 and they are asking what is the mark price it has offered a discount of what 12% so we find out the multiplication factor and then we simplified and we got 600 rupees okay okay see the next question this question this type of questions are important for exam what is it a trader marks his good at 35% above the cost price and allows a discount of 20% on the mark price find his gain or loss person i told you in our ratio proposition chapter that when no data is given in a question and only percentage or ratio is involved we can assume something to be 100 so i'm just writing that point when no data is involved in a question in a question and only percentage or ratio is involved then we can assume something to be 100 something to be 100 or rupees 100 we can take or not necessary 100 we can take 50 also 1 rupee also 99 rupee also depending on the situation now what is given a trader marks his goods at 35% above the cost price find his gain or loss person i told you that gain and loss is from cost price to selling price we have cost price mark price and then we have selling price cost price is 100 rupees i am assuming i do not know find his gain or loss person right first of all i am assuming let the cost price be rupees 100 Why 100? Because it is mentioned that a trader marks his good at 35% above the cost price. But do you know what is the cost price? We do not know. So that's why I am assuming the cost price to be 100. He marks his good at 35% above the cost price. So multiplication factor will be our how much? 135%, which is our 135 by 100. So mark price is unknown. So mark price will be our forward direction we multiply direct also if you want you can solve it okay this one so one our what will get will get 100 into our 135 by 100 how cost price into multiplication factor or if you do not want to solve it like this then mark price will be our what cost price plus 35% of what cost price cost price is 100 plus 35% of 100 rupees percentage will cancel the two zeros what will get 100 plus 35 which will give us 135 rupees you can solve like that also so we got the mark price to be our how much 135 rupees then what is said offers a discount of 20% you know discount is from where mark price to selling price i hope all of you understood this line how i got it shall i explain it again i am explaining it see how it became this line to i hope all of you understood if you understood then you can solve it this way also our cost price we are assuming 100 rupees mark price will come out to be how much 135 rupees how because he marks is good 35% above the cost price if you have not understood you see you can apply this logic multiplication factor we find out which will be our 135% by means 30% divided by 100 will get we have to go in the forward direction to find out the mark price so mark price will be our what cost price into multiplication factor cost price is 100 multiplication factor is 135 by 100 cancel out what you are getting 135 whether you find by this method or this method answer will be same only okay they are asking now we have to find profit and loss selling price we have to find out before that so we are finding the multiplication factor will be 80% 100% 20 will be 80% 80% 80 out of 100 will give us 4 by 5 so we have to go in the forward direction to find out the selling price therefore selling price will be our what mark price into multiplication factor forward direction we have to multiply so which will be 135 into 4 by 5 5 twos are 10 27 into 4 will be 108 now see we have cost price mark price and then selling price 
cost price is 100 mark price is 135 selling price is 108 i told you profit and loss is from cost price and selling price directly you can say 8 percent profit still i am writing it therefore percentage profit will be our what percentage profit is our profit by cost price into 100 profit is our selling price minus cost price by cost price into 100 selling price is our 108 rupees cost price is 100 100 and 100 will cancel out they are getting 8 so finally we will mark the answer is 8 percent i hope you have understood the problem very very important you can note it down we see the next question now what is said a dealer purchases a fan for rupees 1080 after allowing a discount of 25 percent on its mark price and still gains 25 percent find the mark price of the fan whenever profit loss is involved cost price anything about mark price is given you just write it in this manner cost price mark price selling price so what he said a dealer purchase a fan dealer has purchased so this is the shopkeeper only so purchase a fan for 1080 after allowing a discount of 25 percent you know discount where discount is from mark price to selling price and discount is a negative term and still gains 25 percent profit loss is from where to where cost price to selling price how much profit 25 percent profit so find out the multiplication factor i told you to memorize it 5 by 4 will be the answer so 125 by 100 which will give us what 5 by 4 from this information i can easily find out the selling price how because we have to go in the forward direction so therefore selling price will be our what cost price into multiplication factor 1080 5 by 4 or 270 1000 1350 1350 we are getting so selling price of the article is now 1350 i hope it is clear now they are asking find the mark, mark price of the fan now mark price is also unknown no problem now see what we have mark price and selling price offers a discount of 25 percent selling price is 1350 mark price is unknown so multiplication factor will be our 75 percent 75 percent means 75 out of 100 how 75 from 100 minus 25 what how to find out multiplication factor i have already explained in the chapter percentage you can watch the video there 25 3 times 25 4 times so we have to go in the backward direction to find out the multiplication factor therefore multiplication sorry mark price will be our what our selling price divided by multiplication factor selling price is 1350 divided by 3 by 4 1 3 5 0 4 will go up divided by 3 so we are getting 450 into 4 will be our what 1800 so therefore mark price is equal to what 1800 rupees okay you can note it down see the next question now the mark price of a tv is 18500 a dealer allows two successive discount of 20 percent and 5 percent for how much is that tv available you can solve the question two ways one method is like this you can write 18500 this is our mark price then first time he offers a discount of it our 20 percent then we'll find out 20 percent of 18500 we'll get some value and then he offered a discount of again five percent then from five percent on where on this and we'll get some value whatever is the value that will be the answer but I'll solve in a different way. I will find out the equivalent discount of 20% and 5% and then I will directly solve the question. So equivalent discount of discount of 20% and 5% is equal to what is the formula? X plus Y plus XY by 100 percent. So X is our what? Because we have to write in here x equal to minus 20, y is equal to minus 5. So minus 20 plus minus 5 plus minus 20 into minus 5 by 100. So here will become minus 25 and 25 is 100. 100 upon 100 will become cancel out. Minus 25 plus 1 minus 24 percent. So net discount of what? 24 percent discount it is available. 
so now therefore mark price is our 18500 offering a discount of 24 percent selling price is unknown so multiplication factor will be 76 percent 100 minus 24 will be 76 so we have to go in the forward direction therefore selling price will be our what mark price into multiplication factor that is our 18500 into 76 by 100 100, 100 cancel out you have to multiply this 185 into 76 5 is 30 8 6 is 48 3 51 5 1 is 5 6 11 7 5 is 35 7 is 56 3 59 7 is 7 5 12 0 6 1 0 1 4 0 6 0 so the TV is available for 14060 rupees. I hope you have understood the problem. Pause the video and note it down. See the next question now. What is say? A shopkeeper sold an article for rupees 400 after giving a discount of 20% on the mark price and made for 30% profit. Find the our discount and markup price. Here we cannot assume uh, the price to be 100. Why? Because here already data is given. I wrote one line that when no data is given and only percentage or ratio is involved then we can assume something to be 100 but here we cannot do that why because data is already involved in the question so what we'll do i'm writing cost price mark price selling price a shopkeeper sold an article for rupees 400 selling price is 400 discount is given as how much 20 percent so from this information i can easily find out the mark price First of all, multiplication factor will be 80 percent. 80 percent means what? 80 by 100, 24 times, 25 times. So you have to go in the backward direction to find out the mark price. So therefore, mark price will be our how much? Mark price will be our selling price divided by multiplication factor. 400 divided by 4 by 5. 400 by 4 into 5. 105 is a 500 rupees so we are getting mark price to be 500 rupees okay now what is said and made 30 percent profit okay he made 30 percent profit also i am making the diagram once again cost price mark price selling price so he made 30 percent profit also so profit is from where to where profit and loss from cost price to selling price okay now cost mark price already we got 500 rupees i hope it is clear selling price is 400 rupees mark price already we have calculated to be our how much 500 rupees now from here i can easily find out the multiplication factor multiplication factor will be how much 130 percent which is our 130 by 100 which is our 13 by 10. now in order to find the cost price we have to go in the backward direction We have to go in the backward direction therefore what will i write cost price equal to selling price divided by multiplication factor 400 divided by 13 by 10 which will give us 4000 divided by 13 why 10 will go up will give us 4000 by 13 what what question are they are asking find a discount so discount equals to discount equals to mark price minus selling price mark price is 500 selling price is 400 which will be our 100 rupees discount they are asking what is the markup price markup price will be larger minus smaller that is our what mark price minus cost price 500 minus 4000 by 13 so lcm if you take it, it will be 13 13 fives are 6 5 into 0 0 minus 4000 which will be 2500 by 13 rupees this will be the our markup price if you want you can convert to decimal again divide it and convert to decimal i hope it is clear okay you can pause the video and note it down we we'll see the next question now what is said a trader puts the price of his goods 25% above cost price but allows 12.5% discount for cash payment 
if he sells the good for rupees 875 find the first price of the goods okay here also we cannot assume to be 100 why because data is already given so i'm writing cost price mark price selling price why because he gave some discount and got some 25 percent above the cost price okay now sells the good for rupees 875 discount of 12.5 percent i can easily find out the mark price from this our data why because multiplication factor will be our how much 87.5 percent 100 percent minus 12.5 will be 87.5 percent which is our 75 by 100 so to find mark price we have to go in the backward direction so mark price will be selling price divided by multiplication factor 875 divided by 87.5 by 100 so this will give us 875 into 100 divided by 87.5 10 times give us 1000 rupees so we are getting the mark price to be 1000 rupees now it is mentioned that a trader puts his price of his goods 25 percent above cost price so this is above cost price means plus okay less will be our what below cost price will be minus so multiplication factor will be our how much here 125 percent which will be our 125 by 100 this will be our how much 5 by 4 i am writing the question once again see here i am writing cost price here i am writing mark price mark price is our 1000 rupees this is 25 percent multiplication factor i have just derived it it is equal to what 5 by 4 cost price is unknown so i can easily find out the cost price by going in the backward direction therefore cost price will be our what mark price divided by multiplication factor that is our 1000 divided by 5 by 4 which will be equal to 1000 by 5 into 4 5 200 200 into 4 will be 800 rupees the question is find the cost price of the good therefore cost price will be our what rupees 800 i hope understood the problem so that's all from the chapter discount in the next chapter we'll start with time and work